Welcome to EZLIM Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be discussing Form 2 Mathematics and our topic for today is gradient and equation of a straight line. Our subtopic for today is graph of a straight line. So basically what we are going to be doing today is drawing the straight lines in a graph using different information that we have learned so far. So for example, if we look at this question, you have been told to draw a graph of a line passing through that point and has a gradient of two. We know for us to completely draw a straight line, we need to have at least two points for us to do so. And you can see we only have one point. So this means that we are going to use a gradient to get the equation. And then the moment we get the equation, we can use now the equation to get the other points of the line. So let's do so. So the first point is 0, negative 4. So we we'll pick another point, which will be x and y. And our gradient, remember, is 2. So this is going to be x1. This is going to be y1. This is x2, y2. So the change in y becomes y minus minus 4 over x minus 0 is equals to 2. So this gives us y plus 4 over x. You don't need to put the 0 is equals to 2 over 1. So you cross multiply. This gives us y plus 4 is equals to 2 times x. So this is y plus 4 is equals to 2x. You take plus 4. This other side gives us y is equals to 2x minus 4. So using now this equation, we can be able to get any value on the line, any points on the line. So we can pick, remember we have already the first point, we can pick another point. And this first point is when x is equal to 0. So we can pick when x is equal to 2 or when x is equal to 1, either way. So we put, whenever there is an x, we put 2. So this becomes y is equal to 2 times 2 minus 4. So y is equal to 0. This is because it's 4 minus 4. So then the first point is 0 minus 4. The second point we have is 2, 0. We can go ahead and get another point. Maybe x is equal to 3. This will be y is equal to 2 in bracket 3 minus 4. So y is equal to 6 minus 4, which gives us y is equal to 2. So the next point is 3, 2. So using this point, remember we only need 2. The other one was just an extra. With this point, we can be able to plot our point. So you start with the first point, 0, 4. So you go 0 at the x-axis and negative 4 on the y-axis. So the first point will be down here. And then the next point will be 2 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. So the next point is here. The last point is 3 on the x-axis and 2 on the y-axis. So the next point is here. So you use a ruler. Use a ruler to connect these three points. Make sure you use a ruler in your case to connect these three points. When you connect these three points, then you form your equation, which is the equation of the line is y is equal to 2x minus 4. Let's do another question. Draw the line passing through point 0, 3 and has a gradient of 3. So the formula is still the same. So we have 1.03. Uh, we introduce another point x, y and we have a gradient which is 3. So this is going to be our x1, this is y1, this is x2, this is y2. So change will become y minus 3 over x minus 0, which is equals to 3. But we said you put over 1. So when you cross multiply, you get y minus 3 multiplied by 1 is equals to 3 times x since x minus 0 is x. So this gives you y minus 3 is equals to 3x. You take minus 3 the other side, it gives us y is equals to 3x plus 3. So we already have the first point, which is 0, 3. So you notice a value of x is 0. So we can get another value of x is equals to 1. So we input that. So y 
is equals to 3 into bracket 1 plus 3. So y is equals to 3 plus 3, which gives us 6. So the next point is going to be 1, 6. So let's see if we can get also a negative value when x, for example, is negative 1. Y is equals to 3 times negative 1 plus 3, which becomes 0. Because it's negative 3 plus 3, which is 0. So our value will be negative 1, 0. The reason why I wanted us to get another value is because our graph is small. We can't get the point 6. We need to have values that are close. So if we put these two values, 0 and 3, and negative 1 and 0, let's see how we show that in our graph. So we have x-axis at 0, and then we move on the y-axis at 3. So this will be a first point. The next point is at negative 1 on the x-axis and 0 on the y-axis. So it remains the same. So you can add another point if you need to. If you join these two points with a ruler, make sure you join with a ruler in your case. You form the line. So that's how we get the line using a point and gradient. So next, we are going to draw a line represented by a certain equation. And we've been given the equation is y is equals to a half x plus 3. But in this case, we are going to be using the x and y intercept. So the equation is y is equals to a half x plus 3. So when you talk about the x-intercept, it means the value of y is 0. So we have to input that value in our equation. So this becomes 0 is equals to a half plus 3. A half x plus 3, that is the same as negative 3, is equals to a half x. This is because our 3, our plus 3 comes this other side, becomes negative. So if you want to be able to be left with only x one side, you multiply by 2 over 1, you multiply by 2 over 1, which gives us negative 6 is equals to x. So at the other point for negative 6, for x will be negative 6. So the first point on the x-intercept is negative 6, 0. And then if you want to get the y-intercept, the y-intercept, it means the value of x is 0. So we input that, so y is equals to a half, 0, plus 3. So this is the same as y is equals to 3, because this is 0. So the point will be 0, 3. So we have these two points. Unfortunately, our graph is a bit smaller. It doesn't have 6. But you can put the points in your graph and join them with a straight line. Let's do one final question on the same. So you have been told to get to draw the lines represented by the equation 3y minus 4x is equals to 5 using the x and the y intercept. So we have to put our equation in the form of y is equals to mx plus c. So 3y minus 4x is equals to 5. So this is the same as 3y is equals to 5 plus 4x. This is the same as 3y is equals to 4x plus 5. You divide by 3 over the sides. So y is equals to 4 over 3x plus 5 over 3. So when you want to get the x-intercept, the value of y is 0. So we put 0 there, so it becomes 0 is equals to 4 over 3x plus 5 over 3, which gives us minus 5 over 3 is equals to 4 over 3x. We multiply by 3 over 4, we multiply by 3 over 4. So this and this cancels, you're left with negative 5 over 4 is equals to x. So the first point will be negative 5 over 4, 0. So on the y-intercept, it means the value of x is 0, so that we can get y. So this becomes y is equals to 4 over 3, 0, plus 5 over 3. So that gives us y is equals to 5 over 3. So this becomes 0, 5 over 3.
So this is the second point. This is the first point. You put that in your graph. So that brings us to the end. I hope you have been able to see how we draw these straight lines and how we plot those points. Use a ruler. You can um, get more than two points. You don't necessarily have to be just two points. More than two points, you can get uh, even four points if you need to, so that even your line can be more straight. So that's it. You can get more revision questions uh, in the app and notes on the same and get to practice. So see you in the next lesson.